Bowls night, December 24th. Everyone else was home enjoying time with their families, but not me. I was in the office with piles of unorganized paperwork all over my desk. I was on the phone with the missus, and she was asking me when I'd be home. I told her how much work I still had to do, and she reminded me it was Christmas Eve, and I had a family that missed me and wanted to see me. She had a way of always reminding me what was really important. I gave in and told her I'd be home in a flash. I hung up the phone and started to get my things together to head out the door. That's when she walked in. She seemed very mysterious and at the same time I had the feeling she was someone I had met in the past. I said I'm the cupcake guy, private eye, and asked her if there was something I could help her with. Her eyes scoured the room as if she was studying every detail, taking metal snapshots of the stacks of paper and files that were spread all over the place. I felt my face flush with embarrassment and asked her to excuse the mess. She said the mess was not an issue. She needed help and I was highly recommended by an associate. She said she knew it was Christmas Eve, but had a problem that couldn't wait. I asked her for more information as I sat on the corner of my desk. Looks like I won't be headed out the door anytime soon, I thought to myself as she started her story. She said she was attending a very important dinner party and started dropping names of the celebrities and dignitaries that'd be in attendance. She said they had very exquisite taste and were not easy to impress. She went on and on about how important the event was when I finally asked, what does all this have to do with me? She paused and looked down at her hands and told me she was responsible for bringing the desserts and could not let everyone down. She said she did not bake and nothing was still open. Well, nothing that had the gourmet type of goodies she was looking for at least. I could feel a confident smirk come across my face as I assured her that was my area of expertise. I always have a fresh stash of the best cupcakes the sweet tooth has to offer in my office. I grabbed a few boxes and told her she was in luck as I handed them to her. I let her know she'll be the talk of the party once people started to sample the cupcakes. With cherry meltdown, chocolate chip cookie dough, very berry, a lucky stout and other amazing flavor in the boxes, there would be something for everyone. She thanked me over and over again and told me I was a lifesaver. She asked me how much she owed me, but I was in the Christmas spirit. I told her this one was on the house. I reached my desk and got a business card for her. I looked up to wish her a Merry Christmas and hand her the card, but she was already gone. I watched her silhouette disappear into the night through the window as I collected my things. I was pleased that I was able to solve another case and help sweeten someone else's day. I turned out the lights and stepped out into the brisk night air. Looks like I will be home in time to celebrate with the family after all. Make sure you are the talk of your holiday party this year by showing up with goodies from the Sweet Tooth. Their cookies, cheesecake, cake pops, and award-winning cupcakes will fill everyone with the holiday spirit. Merry Christmas, everyone. From the Cupcake Guy.